Hey everybody, welcome to um, a different style of video. Um, I had this idea. Well, okay, before you may be asking, what is that? Um, yeah, as you can see, my my chair broke. So um, that's the that's the seat right there. In that question, what's the box for? Well, I'll tell you about that. So. That was my toe! Oh. Okay. So, um, this is, I thought a new series. It's called, What's in the Box? Um, so, it is, I don't know what's in here. It may look like I glimpse in it, but I, I'm not seeing any, I don't see anything. But before we get to the box, let's tell you the backstory. So, so if you know me, I like to, I like to imitate Idubs a lot. He is an inspiration for me. That's why I say, that's why I, I'm always like, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Channel Critic. I sound just like him, like, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Channel Critic. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bad Unboxing. So yeah, this is not Bad Unboxing. I'm just getting out of the way. This is not Bad Unboxing. I told my family members to go out and find me some weird stuff. And I don't know what's in the box, but but what I can what I feel feels very very funny. So this may be a long video, but hey, you may even want you may not even watch it. So let's get right into the box, shall we? First item for grabs is a weird game. Sorry, knockout. Actually, I'll put the box down here because it's just taking up ammo space. See, what we have here is sorry, knockout. I, w I will just tell you what. I don't know what that is. Mm, a copy of Metal Gear Solid VR Missions for the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. I don't even have a place here. A badly damaged wiffle ball box. There's, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, if you want this stuff sent to you, send me your email. Send me your address. Now. I was gone half the day. I was at the store, so they could have stuck. They could have took stuff out of my room. So, like this thing, a USB connector. So, yeah. A weird, a weird guy. Oh, there's a lever on it. Cool, cool beans. Ah, a joke, joke lapedia. I saw SpongeBob. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a little break. We're Stephen Hilmer, marine biologist turned animator, combined his love of underwater. Oh, you skip, skip that. SpongeBob was so popular that Nickelodeon made it into a feature-length film in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, 2004, best year of all time. The crown of Bikini Bottom's king is stolen. It looks like Mr. Crab, Mr. Crab. It looks like Mr. Crab, SpongeBob's boss, committed the crime. No, he didn't. SpongeBob and Patrick. My leg. There you go. You want this? Send. Get your address if you want any of this. Box of pencils. A box of number two twenty-four pencils with my name on it. Mm. 
No, your eyes are not tricking you. This is not a Game Boy game. It's a copy of Finding Nemo for the Leapster. A very good. Very good. You ain't fooling anyone here. It's a, it's a, it's a chewed up ball. Ah, it's Raphael's face. Ooh, that's a spicy one. A pair of glasses that look like Robin's face from Ton Titans Go. Surrender your soul now to the dark side. An eraser controller. So say this. Has your school ever had a book fair and they sold these things? Yes, it's missing a button. Yeah, did your did your local school sell those things? Tell me in the comments below. Easter grass, 98 cents. I wonder what I wonder what use I could find that for bed. A shovel. There's nothing to it. It's it's a literal it's a literal shovel. This is the epitome. I think God has left the server. Four. Four pop sockets. Like I said, if you want any of this stuff, put your address below. I'll send it. Some weird toy. Here, let's use the shovel. There we go. Oh, look, he's very, very sad. There's a, there's a, there's a funny meme right there. Oh, what the frick? A newspaper from Wednesday, January 21st, 2009. It has Obama on it. Oh my God! Who would? Who would? Why do we have this? In literally like a few short weeks, this thing, this thing turns nine years old. Shame on you. Oh, it's a it's a DVD. A copy of SpongeBob SquarePants Lost at Sea containing the episodes The Sponge Who Could Fly. It's a double length episode. Plankton, Boating School, Suds, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy 2. The, Chaper the Chaperone, Bubble Buddy, Your Shoes Untied, and Pre Hibernation Week. A Kiss. Let's see if there's anything inside. Holy crap, there is something inside. What do you think it's gonna say? Nibba? What do you think? Is it gonna, what do you is it the N-word? Then the F word? The F-A-G-G-E-T? It's a very badly written something that says Shrek is my waifu signed Gage. Gage, you can kill yourself. Down at the very bottom of the bin. <laughs> it's a B movie Pez. <laughs> very good gag gift right there. It's a Rob Ball. No, that's not Rob Ball. That's Minecraft toy. Minecraft toy. Sign me up. Okay. So last few times. So in the last few weeks of this year. We've seen the rise of three memes. Tide Pods, somebody touch my spaghetti, and uh, do you know that way? Explain this. 
What is this, a Tide Pod? No, Tide Pods are blue and orange. <laughs> it, yeah, it's a, it's a literal, it's a li literal Tide Pod. Good gag. Oh, we're down to the very last thing in the box. To end it off, we have a cassette tape. We do not have a cassette tape in this house as of now. I'll tell you what it is. It's a copy of Shrek. <laughs> it's a literal copy of Shrek. Boy, this will be a monthly thing. Yeah, this will be a monthly thing. It won't be every month on this day, but sometime next month, I will I will make my family search for some more good gag gifts. So there you go. There's all your gags. Where'd the Tide Pod go? I want my Tide Pod. Oh, where's my Tide Pod? There it is. You get... I think today's centerpiece of attention was Tide Pod. Hashtag Tide Pods give you superpowers. So if you want any of this stuff, put your address below and I will send it to you. So yeah. Thank you all for watching today's first installment of What's in the Box. Oh, this should be a really good this should this should be really good treat. I mean, I think the star of today was uh, the Tide Pod. So, uh, I wonder if you like rub the end of it. It feels like someone's butt cheek. I think I'm, I'm not gonna edit that out. That was. I don't even know why I said that. Thank you all for watching today's episode of What's in the Box. Uh, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will have some videos coming out maybe later today. Originally today, um, so because my sister took it, I was maybe going to have a sleepover with uh, my good boy Mars. But that's not going to be happening because my sister's already doing it. So. so, thank you all for watching. I may do a few more videos today. Some more videos on the Bend Over channel. And a uh, reminder, put in the comments below. Oh, put put in the comments below your questions for the EXHL Q&A. And if we get enough, as of, as of right now, I've already started writing it. I have eight questions now. Yeah, I have eight questions now. So this video, the EXHL Q&A 2 announcement, any video from... EXE Show Q&A 2 to the EXE Show Q&A 2. Put your comments below, because I need a few more. Wait, 10... I need 12 more questions. It could be from the same person. Tiny Bear, you can post 18 questions, I don't care. But, as of right now, we need a question from Mars, Jake, and Michael, and Derpy. So, co just comment anything that comes to your mind. So, hashtag... Tide Pods give you powers. So yeah, post comments below. Comment hashtag Tide Pods give you powers. And I'll see you later.